Welcome to Sitecrete Pro Tips, how to fill and seal concrete joints or cracks. When addressing how to fill or seal a crack or a joint, the first thing we have to ask is, what's the difference between a crack in concrete and a concrete joint? The answer is very little. A concrete joint you planned, such as this demonstration on my panel here, that's where I want the concrete to crack. That's why it's called a control joint. Anywhere else that a crack pops up is a crack. So both are a crack in that it is an opening in the concrete. And the answer's the same. You don't ignore either. Both should be filled and sealed because it's all about stopping water intrusion from getting into the slab. So when we are looking at the decision of what to do with applying the material, we've got the first answer, how deep is that crack? If the crack is more than, say, three-eighths to a half an inch, consider filling it with sand first, leaving down that three-eighths to a half an inch of meat to fill with the, with the sealant. If the crack is wider, consider using what's called backer rod. Now that we all agree you can't ignore a crack or a joint, it needs to be sealed. Let's talk about what do you do for prep. Besides cleaning the slab and getting any loose debris out of the crack, look at it and decide, is this crack too tight to get in such as a, a caulk-like material? If it is, then take a hand grinder and simply start V'ing out the crack. So here's an example you can see on both sides of reality. This one is a crack that's not been addressed. It's kind of tight, but you can get some materials in there. The other side, I went ahead and took a standard grinder and beat it out. You're simply cutting a line that's clean to get enough materials in there to stay. So that's it for your prep. So now we're going to look at four Sacrete products that will address the entire range of concrete crack repair solutions. First up, we're going to look at Sacrete's Concrete Crack Filler. This is the remodeler's best friend. It's so easy to use. This product is designed for cracks up to a half an inch wide and you need to let it go no more than a quarter of an inch in depth. So we're back to the sand fill trick if you need to. Always shake the bottle. It's ready to go. You're going to cut the tip and just simply apply to the crack. It's like you're squirting ketchup out of a bottle. Now, the thing to realize about this material, it's very viscous. It looks thick when it starts, but it pulls down in its own weight and will finish filling this crack from the bottom up. So with that in mind, let's look at a panel that shows you what's going to happen overnight and the next morning. So like I said, as this material dries, it pulls down into the crack. That's what we've got here in our demo. Always plan on coming back the next morning to put, a, to put another layer to cap it off, and then you can smooth it because it is water-based. You can smooth it with your finger if you want to. But you are going to need to, to finish filling the top the next morning. The next product we're going to look at is Sacrete Concrete Repair. Sacrete Concrete Repair is a latex caulk that's concrete colored and slightly textured. Sacrete Concrete Repair is designed for an eighth of an inch wide crack to a maximum of three eighths. Anytime the crack is deeper than three eighths, we suggest you use sand to fill up the bottom of the crack before using the product. Let's look at some in action. So there, see it went in there very neatly. It's a nice concrete color. So the beauty of this being a water base is I can just wet my finger and perfect my repair. I love this stuff. It is true concrete caulk. The next product we're going to look at is Sacrete Polyurethane Non-Sag Sealant. 
This product is designed for one quarter width by one quarter depth applications with the maximum depth of one half inch. Being it is a solvent based material, remember your cleanup is going to have to be a paint thinner or some kind of a solvent cleaner. Non-sag means that this is a thicker, stickier material and it will stay where you put it. So in other words, it will not run, it does not self-level. Polyurethanes in the scale of good, better, best, the family gets put into the best category because they're designed for lasting many years and they have a greater elongation life where they can actually stretch with the concrete and contract. They dry semi-rigid, but the key is it's more water resistant. That's the whole reason to use the urethane family. Non-SAG's formulation would also allow me to use this specific one on a concrete wall or say I needed to seal around a concrete window in a foundation. Sacrete polyurethane self-leveling sealant, this formulation is designed to go one quarter by one quarter. Now because of its self-leveling property, you're going to need to look down in that crack. If it goes on down, you can't ignore that depth because it is viscous enough to literally go under the slab and you'll keep using material and using it and using it wondering what's going on. Always seal the bottom in some manner before you start using this material. Now once again, this is going to be similar to our, our crack filler in that it's on the surface, but its weight is going to pull it down in the crack. You can already see it happening. It's already going, it's leveling and going down into the crack. So this is a great product if and as long as your application is somewhat flat. You can't use this on a hill and you can't use this where your concrete has a deep pitch. You're going to need to go back to the non-sag for those cases. So both formulations are very similar. They're both polyurethanes. It's just that the difference is one is meant to stay in place, the other is meant to flow. So we've just completed our review of Sacrete's concrete fill solutions. First was Sacrete Crack Filler, which is the remodeler's best friend. We have our Sacrete Concrete Repair, which is a true concrete latex caulk. And then we have our polyurethane offerings in the non-sag formula for where you need it to stay put where you put it or the self-leveling version where you want it to be able to run and fill. So with these four products, we've got your concrete fill requirements covered. <music>